Today we teach you ways to increase the adventure quotient in your life. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. If you've got a question, you could ask a respected elder in your life, somebody who you think might have some wisdom. Yeah. Or you could go on the internet and type it in. But don't do that. Don't. No, don't do, do that. the smart thing. Do ask the us. stupid thing and ask Rhett and Link. On Facebook, like Theo Moral did. How can I experience an adventure without leaving my house? Theo doesn't want to leave his house, but he wants to have an adventure. That seems to be a quandary. Ah, uh, yes. But well, we have a solution for you, Theo Moral. And that is, uh, Watch every episode of Good Mythical Morning back to back to back to back to back in one sitting. Just Good Mythical Morning, you don't even have to watch Good Mythical More. It's only gonna take you 106 hours. I'm gonna translate that to days for you. It's 4.41 days. You might need one of those race car driver suits where you just pee out the, uh, the there's like a, a tube 4. or something. 4.4 days? Yeah, 4.41 days. I was thinking, um, Sounds a little different, but the self promotion is good, so I can go with that. And if you do this, if you watch, because I know some of you do binge watch. Uh, we see on the weekends a lot of you will watch all five episodes at once. We are watching you, uh, but if you do binge watch all four point four one uh, days of Good Mythical Morning, please document the process, and we will acknowledge it. Um, if you're, uh, if you don't want to do that, then I would suggest that you do something like play The Floor is Lava. Link, The Floor is Lava. The Floor is Lava. Oh, 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 oh. The Floor is Lava. The Floor is Lava. But we gotta get to the to couch. To the couch. The Hold couch. On. I know the system. Watch uh, this. What? I gotta get, oh, oh. Move this seat. Let's step on, I'm gonna step on this. Okay, okay. I'm going to. Now grab that because we gotta, okay. The Floor is Lava. Let's get, don't forget. The Floor is Lava, go that way. Oh, oh, all right. The Floor is Lava. The floor is lava. I made it! The floor is, the floor I made it! I made it, too! Uh, uh, we made it! We gotta get back. Though. We made it! We gotta keep doing the show. We gotta remember, go. the, floor the floor is, is lava. lava. Okay, watch this. Okay. Oh! oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I almost lava Well, I was... Oh. All right, you jump, and when you're in the air, no, I'm gonna push. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna die. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me see. Here, let me go back. Let me see. All right, here. Okay. And then watch, watch. Here you go. You can do this. You can do this. <sighs> And then I can do this. Hey, don't forget the floor is lava. Oh, that's cheating. The chair is an island that moves. Okay. I don't think I can do ah! it. Oh! Ah! Okay, <laughs> well. That just wasn't sustainable. You wanna know what my face looks like when I, when I swim in lava? Just roll that back a few minutes. The space under the desk is not lava. Colleen Combrick asks, how can I make a road trip less boring? Oh, that's easy. You can do what we did on our road trip from North Carolina to California. One of those things was dance across state lines. Another thing you can do is sing songs until you get pulled over by the highway patrol. Well, I had the time of my life. No, I never felt this way before. Never felt yes, I swear way. it's the truth. So I put my hands up to play in our song. The butterflies fly away in the name of love. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Don't get mad when you feel a little feeling on it. Sometimes love don't feel like it should. You make it hurt so good. And I will always love you. Oh, crap, it's pulling you over. Dang it, get pulled over by a cop. Hi, uh, subject is your speeding. Let me see your license, the uh, vehicle registration for the 
What makes you think he's not going to give you a ticket? I can look in his eyes and tell he's not going to do it. I've got no tickets, ever. Because I know exactly how to make eye contact with him. Sure, it's taking a long time if he's not going to give you a ticket. Yeah, he's looking it up. He's just trying to make us nervous. Okay, I'm going to give you a citation for your speed. You just have to sign in the red box. And lastly, Colleen, you can make your road trips less boring by veering off into the desert as long as you have proper permission and driving in a dried up lake bed or salt flat. Now you've seen this. You, you may have driven by one of these in the desert and it has always been a dream of mine. Yeah, we saw one on the mythical Several. road trip out here and we would look over at this it would just be just flatness well, of this is, saltiness. This is where they set these speed records and I've always thought, I wish I could drive a car out there, but it, it, you gotta get the special permission to do that. Now, thanks to Toyota, we were asked to come out to Vegas for a ride and drive of the new 2015 Camry and uh, well, let's just say we were given well, that opportunity. Yeah, that was part of it. You know, I didn't know what to expect. That was not the full extent of it. There were other things that we did too. Right. Not knowing what to expect, I definitely can say that I didn't expect that by the end of it, we would be squealing like two schoolgirls. But that's what happened. <laughs> Yo! Be bold, baby, be bold! What you can see our whole experience in the Camry over at Toyota's YouTube channel. Link is in the description, watch it. Also, we're excited to announce that starting next week, uh, we're gonna be launching a segment on our Thursday Advice episode um, that we're gonna be taking our advice to a next level, a new segment called That Escalated Quickly. So usually we just sit here and answer your questions at the desk, but thanks to Toyota Camry, we're gonna be able to actually come to the mythical beast and bring the advice in real life. That starts next week. So look for it. You know what day it is. It's Thursday. And Thursday means May. All right, check this out. Bam. We've got this. Do you want to spin that canister? For you? It's, it's really just the, the front part here, so I'm gonna turn it like that. Uh, dear Rhett Link, our names are Brian and Allison, and we currently live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Hey, Hagerstown. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Our dad is in the Navy, and we moved pretty often. Our last command was in Virginia Beach, and we ran across a restaurant there named Delmar's. Delmar? Dumar. D O U. Let's go with, let's Dumar. Go with Dumar. Abe Dumar was Could born. Could be wrong. Abe Dumar was born in 1881 and in 1904 he invented the ice cream cone. What? And served them at the St. Louis World's Fair. They have sent us the original prototype of no. the ice cream cone. These are the first ones ever made. No. Now there's a couple of different people. Hold on, you're lying to Wikipedia. about that part. No. These aren't the original prototype. This is just like you can buy them from why, Dumars today. Why do you, no, these are the original ones. Why do you think that they have napkins in here and they're like cushiony? Don't get my hopes up, man. They'd be crumbly if they were 100 years no, old. No, they, these, are, these, are, these are new and they are a little crumbly because they've been <laughs> shipped you, to could, us. But, could you get a whole one for me, please? They are made on similar machines and made by the same family that invented them. Uh, according to my Wikipedia, uh, boop, 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 boops, uh, there's a number of people who can hmm. uh, lay claim to invent the ice cream cone. So it happened in different places independently over a short period of time. But this is this is one of them. This is a legacy of inventing ice cream cones, and he would be so proud, Mr. Dumas, <coughs> if he saw you doing that. <coughs> I don't know why that was the only noise I can make. No, I'm ice cream cone eyes, man. You know what you got? <coughs> You got cones in your eyeballs already. Yeah, you do, so you don't need to do those. And rods. Now, I'm told that they serve these with ice cream in them. Hey, try it, you'll like it. Put that in your eyeball and say, ah. See what I'm talking about. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Go for both. Ah. 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 It did that make you feel good? It doesn't make me feel bad. <laughs> Makes me feel a little weird. Thanks for sending those and thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. Hi, we're Jackson and Kelsey on vacation in Bavaria. 
and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thank you, Brian and Allison, for sending the ice cream cones. You get a signed Good Mythical Morning poster. This poster is available to everyone at retlink.com slash store. Also, click through to Good Mythical More where we eat the salted nut roll and show you some amazing stuff sent from the recent mythical meetup at Mythicon in Minnesota. Cabbage, the musical. Oh, I have a need in my stomach for some veggies. Well, you should get some of that green good stuff that I call cabbage. You're talking about cabbage. Yeah, it's cabbage. cabbage. No cabbage. one wants to eat the cabbage. cabbage. Talk cabbage. about green stuff. Talk cabbage. about health. You got to get it and nothing else. It's cabbage. Just cabbage. Oh, cabbage. Nothing cabbage. We ripped off MJ. Boy, that, that looks weird. That looks so appetizing. <laughs> I'm just going to lay it right out on that and spin it around. Do you have any scissors? And, oh, it smells good though. <laughs>